silence. Okay. okay, guys, when you're ready. I think we, we can all agree that the new Thomas Tallis building is an upgrade from the old building. Because of this, we want to base our Tallis TV episode on the old building having character. It has nothing on the new building. Before we go into depth in our articles, we brainstormed ideas and decided as a group we would have four ideas that we went on to do primary and secondary research on. Okay, so our Tallis TV episode is going to cover four different topics, which are capita, <laughs> capita, the, the unused school facilities, and uh, the, uh, the link and the community changes uh, if the community has changed in this school. Capita are the UK's leading business process, outsourcing a professional services company, and has grown constantly over the last 28 years and continually look to new market areas to ensure their, their long-term leading position. Our aim is to clear up any rumours about Capita to see if they are true or not and get to know them as more as a company. Right, so uh, another issue we're going to explore is the, uh, is the new facilities that have been sort of set up in this school and how uh, that students don't have the permission that they, sh that they should have to go into them, such as the gymnasium, which is a massive space, and yet it's such a hassle to actually get in there, even though Byron Parker quoted, these are excellent facilities which have been welcomed by pupils, staff and parents. Um, and following on from this report, we will also be talking about the new school links and how the, their metal and sort of weather conditions could put students at risk or because of the slippery ice or, or rain. So, you know. The last report is going to be how the community in Tallis has changed since the move to the new building. We're going to interview staff and students to find out about specific areas of the school that has changed. How we're going to rebrand the show. New opening titles, transitions not filmed in front of background but on location, improved scripts to make it look more natural, improved sound, a new soundtrack, a new logo. Okay, so also our target audience for um, our episode is going to be towards students and staff and we feel that in the past the uh, Tallis TV has been more targeted towards or it's attracted more staff than students so to um, just sort of help this we're going to use things such as comedy to draw in younger um, audience. We have done two questionnaires to gather primary research. We made a questionnaire about links in order to gather feedback for the VT. We also did a questionnaire on the school transitions as it gives us information on the VT and perhaps people to interview for the VTs. Oh, right, there we go. Okay, so here's our Gantt chart which we made and this is basically talking about the sort of just over a sort of four week, sort of into five week um, process <laughs> it's going to take. We realised that, well we've basically done brainstorming, research takes a big a uh, big chunk. Uh, I think we're filming just in yeah, one we week. Two days, two days to film. Two days to about film. Three days to edit and evaluation. About four days. That should be pretty simple. <coughs> right, the budget. Um, we got we uh, got all the equipment that we knew that we were going to need, so such as cameras, lights, and we found out how much it would be to rent over a day, and uh, all the equipment together come to a grand total of six thousand eight hundred. In <laughs> and these are the requirements that would be that we would need on the day to film. Yeah. Thank you for listening to our presentations. Are there any questions? Thank <laughs> you.